In case you're new here in Canada, you might be wondering what the easiest way to transfer money is. You might want to pay someone for their babysitting services or someone who designed your website for you or perhaps you just went out to dinner with a friend recently and you want to pay them your share of the dinner. And of course, you can write them a check, but personally, I hate checks unless I'm at the receiving end of it. Or you can do a bank transfer, but as we all know, it usually takes a while. It takes two to three days or even longer and while there are some banks who don't charge you for that in many cases a bank transfer between different banks costs more than a simple interact e-transfer interact e-transfers so far i found are the easiest and also cheapest way to send money to someone with most banks, an Interag e-transfer will cost you somewhere between one and one and a half dollars. But many banks nowadays offer free Interag e-transfers as part of a package. So let's say that you open a very basic account with Scotia Bank, and as part of that basic package, they allow you unlimited Interag transfers. But the package itself will cost you about four dollars per month. So the fees for the bank account itself will differ from bank to bank. So you'll need to check with your bank whether or not they charge you for interact transfers or whether interact e-transfers are already included as part of their package but what i can say for sure is that i have a bank account with a tangerine bank which is a direct bank which offers unlimited free interact transfers at no monthly fee and if you're curious to know more about this tangerine bank account then you can check out a video that i made earlier up here now let's get into how Interag e-transfers work. But before I continue, if you found this video useful so far, then please do me a favor and hit the like button. Thank you. The fact that it is super, super easy to use is why I love Interag transfers so much. And to pay someone using Interact e-transfer, you only need two things. The first is a bank account in Canada. And most banks, by the way, in Canada will be part of the Interact network. But just in case you're banking with a smaller, less known bank and want to make sure that they do offer Interact transfers, then you can check out this website down here, which lists down all the banks which are part of the Interact network. And the second thing that you need very easy is either a valid email address or a mobile phone number. Making an Interag e-transfer is super intuitive on most banking apps, but let me just briefly walk you through it. Step one, simply log in to your banking account or your banking app and go to the Interact menu. And usually there you will also find a section for contacts and you simply add the mobile phone number or the email address of the recipient, the person that you want to send the money to, to the contact list. Once you've done that, you simply make a transfer, you select the email address or mobile phone number of the recipient and add the amount that you want to transfer. And now there are two situations here. The first one is if your recipient has auto deposit turned on. So if they have auto deposit turned on, you just need to confirm the transfer, it will be processed and the recipient will get their money. But if they do not have auto deposit on, then the app will request you to create a security question and answer. So you simply create a question, for example, what's my favorite pizza and an answer, for example, pepperoni. So later on when the recipient recipient gets the money, they will first need to input that answer before they can access the money. So you will need to let the recipient know what the security answer is. And personally, I prefer to not have auto deposit on, especially when I'm on the receiving end, I prefer to be able to screen the incoming transfers first before I accept them. So just in the very, very rare case that someone is trying to scam you by sending you an unsolicited amount of money, you can protect yourself from that and avoid it and simply decline it. And this is what will happen next. After the transaction has been processed, the recipient will either get an email in case you added their email address to the transaction or they will get a text on their mobile phone. So this email or SMS simply notifies them that someone has sent them money. And from there, they will need to go into their own bank account. And in case they've turned on auto deposit, the money will already be there. But if not, then as I told you before, they will need to enter that security answer and then they can access the money. And now your next question might be, so how long does an Interact transfer take? Based on my personal experience of using Interact transfers multiple times, it takes anywhere between one to two minutes 
up to 30 minutes at the most. And the other question that you might have is, are there any limits to how much money I can send through Interact? And the answer is yes, there are limits, but the limits will mostly depend on your bank. But in general, most banks have a limit of $3,000 to send via Interact within a time frame of 24 hours. And that limit gradually increases, I think, to twenty dollars to $30,000 when you get to a time frame of 30 days. So that was the sending limit, the limit for sending out money to someone else. If you're on the receiving end, the limit to the amount that you can receive is usually higher. But what that exact limit is, how much money you can receive and how much you can send within a given time frame, that you will need to check out with your own bank. By the way, guys, Interact eTransfer is really great for doing local transfers within Canada. And actually, Interact also offers international transfers, but I myself have not checked that out yet, so I can't say much about it. But there is one financial service which offers international transfers which has been incredible for me and that is WISE. Through WISE you can send money internationally and usually it takes one to two days at the most and usually it's also cheaper compared to doing regular wire transfers so if you're curious to know more about that then you can check out this video over here. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.